Yeah. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to our session. Uh, thank you for joining. And um, yeah, so we'll be trying to make this kind of a weekly habit, or at least as uh, as much as possible every Saturday and Sunday. Um, but yesterday we had our first session, so this is our follow up to that. So kahapon it was all about um the concatenation. So it's also about the text. And um, handling the texts from sources sa cells natin sa Excel. So, ngayon, we will be talking about the left, right, and the mid formula. So, those are three formulas to kind of modify the output um, characters or the, the text na output natin coming from a specific source. So, actually, the source, uh, just like kahapon, it can either be a cell na reference mo or pwede rin you can key in a text uh, just using the quotations. But, um, for, for example, so we're, we're gonna focus a lot more on the um, sources na natin. So, um, I'll switch over to our presentation. So, yan. So, ito yung main natin. So, um, t- left, right, and mid. So, first na discuss natin, we'll discuss yung left na formula. So, the left formula has um, actually um, two parts. So, the first one is the data source. So, this will be your reference. So, it can be um, a word. It can also refer to something or a cell within your worksheet. The second part, so, um, nakagawi na natin in this um in this channel or in this series of lessons so that um, we kind of discuss um, yung mga parts within the parentheses that comprise the formula. So, yung first part would be the data source and then you use the comma to separate the two fields and the second field naman or the second part ng formula would be the number of characters that you want um, Excel to show. So, um, I'll switch over to our Excel view para makita nyo clearer. Ayan. So, sa Excel natin, um, may sample ako dito. So, sa number column natin, kunyari ito yung serial number or something na you want to show. So, um, dun mo tayo sa left formula. So, our left formula, kunyari, we want to divide it into three separate parts. Um, gusto natin makita lang yung first na tatlo. For example, serial number to ng um, parts ng, ng machine. So, maybe yung first three um, characters, yung letters natin, would be the the type of um, part it is for. So, kunyari, pag ACX kasi siya, vehicle siya, or pag DXV siya, it's um, for air conditioning. Pag PNT siya, it's something else. So, if you are to show yung first three letters lang, what we will use as a formula is we will use equals and then type in left, and then open, and then we select kung ano yung source natin. So, our source file would be cell B2, and then to divide the formula, we key in comma, and then gusto natin i-output niya yung first three letters. So, we'll key in three, and then we close it. Ayan. So, nakita natin. So, AX yung lumabas, and it will also do the same for all the other uh, rows natin. So, that's how it works. Yung left, it will start from the left and then count kung anong number of um, characters na i in natin and then yun yung ipapakita niya sa atin as the end product. So, I think it's uh, it's clear naman. Now, we shift over to the right na formula. So, the right formula, um, it's actually the same, um, the same na syntax or same na um, formula parts, no? So, yung first then kasi would be the data source and then comma, the number of characters. So, it's basically the same thing. However, dito sa right na to, instead of starting from the left, it will count off from the end of your um, end of your symbols or yung pinaka last na character and will count off from the right. So, I will show you that clearer uh, as we switch over to our Excel window. So, tingnan natin yung Excel. So, sa Excel natin, if we, we use the right formula, so, i replace lang natin yung left ng right. I will key in right, open parenthesis, select our source, and then comma, 
three, makikita natin, it will it will show me BBB kasi ito yung last na tatlong character natin sa um sa source natin sa B2. So it will start from the end. So yung tatlong B kasi yun siya yung nasa right. It will do the same for the other lines. Now, you have to be really careful about this kasi um, what if na mistype? Okay, na mistype siya kunyari instead na BBB ang na-encode is BB lang. So it will still count off from the right. Diba? So, kung may na-mistype na ganyan, dahil nag-count siya from the end, mapupull niya yung, yung isa pa. Kasi, what is basically counting is, the, yung dulo niya is B, and then a B, and then a 9. So, you have to make sure that your data is accurate for you to use it. So, and, any naman, any, any time naman na you're working with data, you have to make sure na tama siya. Kasi kung hindi, hindi siya mapupul ng tama. So, your your formula output is only as good as your raw data. So, you have to make sure na na-format or na-linis natin yung main data natin bago tayo mag-proceed in using our formulas. Now, we'll, we'll move on to the mid. So, iba naman yung sa mid natin na formula. Um, let me come back to you real quick. I'll just... Um, I'll just do something. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to plug in my my computer. Nagkaka problems sa power. Anyway, we'll go back to our discussion. So we're switching over to the right. Pag right naman yung formula natin, instead of having two parts, which is your data source and number of characters, it has three parts. So if you use mid, yung first part ng formula is the source of your data, would be your cell or your text, and then comma, and then the start position. So how many characters sa pang ilang character start yung pagbibilang niya ng number of characters na input niya, which is our third part. So, for example, may isa kang, um, meron kang thread na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you key in 3 as your start position, it will start from the number 3 and then count to the right. So, ganun siya. And to further explain, I will show you our Excel, our Excel file. Ayan. So, sa third column naman natin, we're using the mid formula. So, I will key in equals. And then, for example, all I want to see is the numbers. So, ida drop ko yung first three, ida drop ko yung last three. In short, I will count from the fourth character, kasi di ba, ACX, I will start sa eight. So, pang apat yon, ACX eight. So, from the fourth, gagawin ko mid, and then open. Select your data source, comma, and I will key in 4. Tapos tatlo yung numbers, 8, 7, 9. So, I will key in 3. Sorry. Um, separate it with the comma, like that. So, 8, 7, 9. And it will do the same for all the other um, cells. So, yung mid kasi is a way for Excel to be able to show you yung characters na nasa pagitan. So, hindi siya nagsistart sa left, hindi siya nagsistart sa right. Ikaw ang magkikin or magsasabi kay Excel kung pang ilang character yung ilalabas niya. So, sa mid, you have to see kung pang ilang character and then go on. So, kung ilan yung cells. So, it can be 3, it can be 6. You can change. Kaya, um, if I change this, if I want the last Six numbers, I can use six. So, anim yung nilabas niya. Two, three, four, and then counting to the right. So, I start siya from digit two, and then counting to the right. Now, six, six symbols, so or six characters. So, two, three, four, AA yung the display niya. So, that is how our left, right, and mid formulas work. Okay? Now, um, very simple. Uh, it's actually something na parang feeling mo. Hindi mo naman siya paggagamitin. Pero, I, I'm telling you guys, this... Um, formula has been very, very useful to me um, sa lahat ng reports na ginagawa ko kasi every time you're dealing with a lot of data, minsan um, I don't know if you can relate pero if you're probably in accounting uh, if you're in accounting, you'll probably relate to this uh, meron tayong tinatawag na cost centers or uh, business units or 
yung mga codes ng mga pinagbibilan natin, customer codes or stuff like that. And usually, merong series of numbers na kakibat yun. For example, um, you're dealing with a specific vendor. Usually, meron siyang yeah, first three digits. Lagyan natin ng 323. Yun yung nagpe-pertain sa company. And then after that, you have a department. The department naman has a specific code. Pwede siyang 878. So, so to identify kung kung ano yung mga magkakasama bilang company or magkakasama bilang subunit, kailangan mo i-divide yung data na yan. And yung iba, gumagamit sila ng text to column. Um, pero it's very, very messy kasi minsan na namomodify mo yung buong workbook. So, ako personally, I prefer using formulas kasi um, hindi mo, kaya may nagdagdag kang line items, hindi mo na kailangan i-text to column ulit siya. Kasi yung formula will work every time. So, pwedeng running yung number of lines mo, and hindi ka nagdadagdag. So, that is why I think very important that um, we are able to modify text within Excel and within and with using formulas instead of yung mga text to column, um, yung mga fixed with delimited, and stuff like that. Um, I will be discussing that in a future lesson, pero it's actually yun yung parang OG way of doing things. Pero ito yung mas gusto natin. Uh, we're using formulas. Ngayon, Meron tayong bonus formula kasi may ikli lang discussion natin. And it's very, very, very simple. So, we have another bonus formula that I would like to um, to share to you guys kasi medyo may, may connection siya sa texts natin. And the formula is the trim formula. Ngayon, bakit importante itong trim formula? Balikan ko yung Excel, ha? One, one thing na very common sa data encoding is minsan, kunyari, especially if you're data is galing sa PDF or galing sa Word document, um, nakaranas na ba kayo na meron siyang, kanyari, ito, uh, meron siyang space either sa harap or space sa likod. And wala ka namang way na makita yan, especially space sa likod, di ba? Alam ka naman, isa-isahin mo yung cell to delete yung mga extra spaces. Di ba? Kasi tingnan nyo, kung meron siyang space sa harap, na na mali na agad yung left formula mo. Na mali agad yung right formula mo kung may space sa, sa dulo. And especially yung mid. Kasi gagalaw siya yung buo kapag meron kang, kang formula na napunta sa harap. So, um, what I do here is maglalagay ako ng... Mag-insert lang tayo ng column para, para makita nyo. Kunyari, maraming maraming data. Just imagine meron kang 500 lines. And may mga nakahalo na ganyan na may mga spaces. Kunyari, marami sila. Pero hindi, hindi rin naman lahat pare-pareho ng mali. Misan, kunyari, um, ito naman, sa harap lang meron. Ito naman, sa likod lang meron. ba? So, pag, pag ginamit natin yung same formulas, um, copy lang natin yung same formulas para makita nyo. ba? So, iba-iba siya, mali-mali siya. So, the formula that will um, help you not to remove, again, this is only the spaces. Kung may extra space sa harap, sa likod, kahit ilang space pa yan, is the trim formula. So, I'll just key in trim, and then select our source data, and then close it. So, kung tama siya, wala siyang spaces, okay lang yan. It will still um, give you the, the correct um, code. Pero kung meron siya extra spaces, mawawala yun mawawala siya. Yan. Tignan nyo, wala na siya spaces sa, sa harap. And if I change my source data from B2 to C2, para yung trimmed ang gagamitin na source data, and I do that for all, for our left, right, and mid na data, ayan. So, you can see na tama na yung napupul niya na data. So, yung trim natin is a bonus bonus formula for you to further make sure na tama yung quality ng data na ina-output natin. So, that is our lesson for today and um, I hope that you learned something new and I hope na huwag tayong masyadong ma-overwhelm or ma-frustrate kapag maraming data na um, I call it I call it a messy workbook kasi may mga times talaga na personally, uh, um, ano, konting chikahan lang tayo um, no, I'll, I'll just end the lesson then I'll hang out and bake chika sa inyo, okay? So, anyway, this is the lesson and I hope you learned something. I'll see you sa next na lesson natin.